As one of the more modern and capable fighters in the Iranian fleet, the defense of the capital Tehran is allocated to two squadrons of Soviet-built MiG-29 fighters, with the units between them estimated to deploy 35 aircraft. The capabilities of these aircraft has significant implications for the Iranian Air Force's ability to defend the city at a time of high regional tensions. The MiG-29 was a medium-weight fighter from the same weight range as the American F-18 Hornet, larger than an F-16 but smaller than an F-15. The fighter had a far superior flight performance to any Western fighter, as well as a particularly impressive makeshift airfield performance allowing it to deploy away from major airbases. Its most outstanding feature was the integration of the R-73 air-to-air missile, which facilitated high off-boresight targeting at visual ranges and in testing in the 1990s proved to provide an overwhelming advantage over Western fighters. While the MiG-29 in the early 1990s provided Iran with a cutting-edge fighter capable of seriously challenging the best of its adversaries' fleets, the disintegration of the Soviet Union in 1991 not only prevented further acquisitions, but also denied Iran access either to more advanced new variants of the fighter or to higher-end Russian combat jets such as the MiG-31 Interceptor and Su-27 fighter. Unlike the Soviet Union, which had from 1991 begun to market its most capable new combat aircraft to Iran, post-Soviet Russia consistently proved to be highly sensitive to Western pressure, with Soviet-era arms deals cut short accordingly while new deals made were consistently pulled out of. Thus, while Iran was expected to acquire MiG-29s on a large scale in the 1990s to form the new mainstay of its fleet, this never materialized. Although modern variants of the MiG-29 such as the MiG-29M and MiG-29UPG retain somewhat formidable capabilities, Iran has not acquired any of these and has made only conservative efforts to modernize its aircraft domestically. Iran's MiG-29s are today among the most capable fighters in its fleet, but are overwhelmingly outmatched by the top fighters fielded by its adversaries such as US and Israeli F-35S. Although the MiGs still have superior flight performances to those in the West, their weaponry and avionics are near obsolete today. Nevertheless, the fighters can play important roles in supporting local air defenses, with their presence forcing potential attackers to allocate portions of their fighter fleets to air-to-air -air operations to escort potential bombing operations. It is notable that Israel's F-15 fleet is similarly obsolete to Iran's MiG-29s, and continues to rely on Cold War-era avionics and AIM-7 air-to-air missiles that are even older and less capable than Iranian MiGs Soviet-supplied R-27 missiles. With the F-15 being the only Israeli fighter class that can operate deep inside Iran without aerial refueling, the age of the aircraft could be a factor that allows Iran's MiGs to be genuinely formidable in air defense operations. The fact that Iran's MiG-29s have high off-boresight targeting capabilities provided by R-73 missiles, a capability which many Western fighters lack today including the U.S. Air Force's F-22s and all Israeli F-15s, is a particularly important factor in their favor. This is notably a capability which Iraqi and Yugoslav MiG-29s which Western air fleets previously fought against notably lacked. While the standing of Iran's manned fighter fleet remains limited even within the wider Middle East, the MiG-29 continues to provide air-to-air -air capabilities far superior to most aircraft in its fleet and rivaled only by those of its US-supplied F-14s.